six to go. Come on. It's a good sound. See, si. very good. Soon big boats will land in our harbor. Then much happiness. Un buen año. Si. Man can't even have a decent siesta around here anymore. Hacker, wait. Please, Hacker. No more trouble. Let go, chick. I warned him. Teach that bar town for news boss around here. Is that it? Nah, the two at the end haven't gone yet. They must have gotten wet. Give them a couple minutes more, we'll plant them again. Right. Everybody stay away from the water. We may have a couple of live ones down there. Lou, get another charge ready. Why are you coming on the road, Dumpy? Pretty slow, boss. The native workers haven't shown up yet. Oh, no. What do you suppose the reason is today? Mike Hacker. Of course, Mike Hacker. I wonder what a sick excuse is going to be. What the world are you doing? Me? Nothing, boss. No, no, not again, Dumpy. Haven't I got enough on my hands today? Come on, Julio, let's go. I didn't do no harm, Senor Bart. Honest, you didn't, boss. Yeah, well, if I had enough time, I'd give you both the spanking. You know, your father asked us to keep you away from here. And you know that too, Dumpy. Yeah, I know. Hacker's not my father, Senor Bart. All right, but he is your guardian, right? And he's the island manager, which means we have to get along with him. I just want to learn. I know you do, son. Bart! There's a little outboard coming in the harbor. That fool's liable to get blown to kingdom come. Keep that flag waving. For Pete's sake, whoever it is, waving back. It's Betty. Go back, Betty. Go back, Betty. Go back. Turn around. You're in restricted water. Turn back. I'm sorry, Betty. We tried to warn you. Oh, by taking a shot at me. There was no shot. There was a delayed action charge. Oh, well, I guess that makes all the difference. What in the world are you doing now? I'm going down to Davy Jones' locker for my mother's portable icebox, in which I had stashed all sorts of goodies for you guys to eat, and which I intend to eat whether you're hungry or not. Betty, wait. The water's not safe. <laughs> Wonderful. What's happening? Well, they just dove in for a swim. That's dangerous. There's still debris churning around down there. Yeah. Ain't love strange?
take it easy, Betty. All right, everybody back to work. Chuck, take another diver and check out that channel bottom. There's something strange down there. The water was ice cold. We might have blown the lid off a subterranean river. Check it out, will you? Roger. Come on. When I get out at the end here, Julio, you head on for home. Don't want you to get into any trouble now, do we? No. And you, get that foolish machine out of here. All right, all right. Next time, maybe you'll stay in the cantina and do your chores like I tell you, huh? Now you wait here. Come on now. Come on, you've got to drink this. Oh. It's out there. I saw it, I swear. The green monster with a head the size of this rock. What do I have to do to make you believe me? Excuse me for intruding on this tender little scene. Well, now we got a monster in here, too. You better start learning how to knock real quick, hacker. All the doors on this island are open to me, boss man. I come here to complain about the noise you're making. The citizenry doesn't like it. And now I find your carelessness has almost cost us the lovely Miss Piper. It was my fault, Mr. Hacker. Nonsense. You were supposed to put up warning signs before you started blasting. They were up. And this might not have happened if we'd had the extra men you promised me this morning. Men? What men? The Islanders, Hacker, remember? No, I don't remember. Okay. For two weeks, I've given you the benefit of the doubt while I've fallen behind schedule. From now on, we bypass you. That wouldn't be too wise. The governor of the island gave us his cooperation, and as his representative, you're supposed to do the same. Here's this cooperation, all right, but at a price, isn't it? I look out for my people. You bet you do. Bart! Bart. What's wrong? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. What? The monster. Two of them, then. Two what? What are you babbling about? Two huge, ugly dinosaurs. Perfectly preserved at the bottom of the channel. Are they dead? Frozen solid. Million-year-old dinosaurs? The same, Bart. I don't know what else it could be, but I'll tell you one thing. One look at him and you'll never forget him. You see? This ought to be worth a fortune. We must have blasted through the rock that entombed him. Some compressed gas caused the freezing, I guess. As island manager, I demand you bring those things up. Oh, tread lightly, Hacker. You don't demand anything around here today. Is the governor still in Washington? So far as I know, he is. And that leaves me in complete charge of this island. Well, we'll send him a wire and have him contact the Smithsonian. He'll send paleontologists down here right away. We'll bring the critters up and put them on the beach. You think the big crane will handle them? I think so. All right, get her set up and I'll be with you in a minute. Roger. Well, can I trust you to send this? You have my word. And the witness. All right, here. What are you grinning about? Or was I grinning, boss man? Maybe it's just that this time, after all your whining, you caused your own delay. Well, we can't build a harbor around two dinosaurs, Hacker. So we take a couple hours and we move them and we get right back to work with no more delays. Bravo. You were awfully hard on him, weren't you, Bart? I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw a dinosaur. Let's go monster fishing. <laughs>
Bart. But thank goodness he's not alive. Say that again. Yeah, let's get a hook on the next one. Roger. Is that what you saw? You scared me. With him around, thanks a lot. I just can't get over it. Is he alive somewhere, Bart? No, he's not alive. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Then why are his eyes open? Well, he just... He just slept with them open, that's all. Boy, he's magnificent. That's for certain. Yeah, well, where do you see the next one? You tell me he's even bigger. about 50 tons. He doesn't look as mean as the other one. He's not mean. He's herbivorous. Where did you learn a word like that? Oh, I'm well educated in those things. I sent away a series of box tops and got models just like them, only smaller. Can I go up and see them closer? Okay, Professor. Oh, thanks, Neil Bart. Senor Bart, he's very cold. Yeah, he's what you might call kind of quick frozen. How long has he been that way? A million years or so, I guess. Boy, oh boy, I'd better investigate further. Hey, look. Why don't you go in and change while I get things wrapped up here and whisk away to a romantic little spot for you? <laughs> the only restaurant on the island. Well, yeah, but you got to admit it's the best cuisine in a thousand mile radius. Okay, I'll be ready in a few minutes. Okay. Hey, Bart. You think we ought to leave a guard for our little playmates tonight? Yeah, I guess so. I don't see how anyone's gonna walk off with him. Give him half a chance and hack or try. I'll see you later. Send your bark! Send your bark! What's the matter? He's alive! Look! Oh, no. Oh, no. He's just thawing out. Then will he be alive? No. Nope. Hey, don't you think you better head on home? No, send your hacker told me to wait in the car. I guess I'd better. Okay. O'Leary? Off and on me, Bucko. T.J. O'Leary at your service, boss. O'Leary, I got a job for you tonight. Babysitting. With whores, children? Those dinosaurs over there. Oh, say it's preservers. Then they're really there. Ah, oh, thank the good Lord. <laughs> I've been seeing them all afternoon and was afraid to tell anyone for fear it was the DTs. <laughs> Children, if they be needing some diaper, you can find some tarpaulins behind the shed. Oh, sure, boss. Sure. And they ain't the first dollar sure I've ever seen, you know. Why, your timing's perfect. You wrinkle free and ready to go? No. If we hurry, we'll make it there before the rain does. Well, it sure gets dark fast down here. Everything happens fast in the tropics.
Jasper. Yeah. Come in. It's about time you got here. It was stormy and wet out tonight, Mr. Hacker. Fine, fine. I don't need your weather report. Sit down and shut up. I'll do the talking. We're going to be rich, boys. You hear that, Cheetah? I heard, Hacker. You don't sound too happy about it. Should I be? Why, sure. You're my little tamale, aren't you? Leave me alone, Hacker. Leave me alone, Hacker. I don't hear you telling the foristas, leave me alone. Let me go, you are hurting me. I'm going to be rich, Chica. Dress you in pretty things, soft to the touch. I don't want your money. But I want you. And I know certain things about you that certain authorities would like to find out. Lies. To lock you up in a jail until your pretty face is old and wrinkled. All you know is lies. Maybe so. But who will be believed, huh? You or the island manager? So you see, Chica. You are mine. Why not enjoy it? Now leave us alone, my little tamale. We have some business to discuss. I have found a caveman. Perfectly intact, probably a million years old. We are going to take him to the mainland and sell him for a fortune. You mean he's dead? <laughs> <laughs> of course he's dead. He's prehistoric. That's what makes him so valuable. What's my cut? Uh, yeah, and mine. A thousand dollars a piece for helping me get him to the boat as soon as the storm lets up. It's a deal. Yeah, right. Huh? It's a deal. Ah. The telegram. Yeah, help yourself to some food, boys. strapping babes. A teething, are you? Well, <laughs> you're a very sweet and quiet babe not to be shrieking about it. Uh, and you, too, mustn't play favorite. Well, I'm going in where it's warm, boys. Now, you be good now and sleep tight. I got from my cereal box tops. I thought I'd bring them over to show you. Say, those are really something. Hey, Chuck. Look. This one's the Brontosaurus. He's a vegetarian. He wouldn't hurt you unless you got in his way and he stepped on you. But this one's the mean one, the Tyrannosaurus. He's got a bigger brain and a bigger appetite. He eats meat, and he likes to eat Brontosaurus even better than people. Well, I'll be done. You really know a lot about these things, don't you? Oh, yes, Senor Bart. I play with them all the time. They are my friends. Julio! What the devil are you doing out here? You're going to learn when I tell you to stay in the back room and finish your chores quietly. That is exactly what I mean. Take it easy, Hacker. You keep your nose out of this. I'm sorry, Senor Hacker. I won't do it again. You're going to learn a lesson, boy. Oh, no, oh, no Senor, please. That's my friend. Hacker, that's enough. Now, come here, boy. I hate you. I'm gonna run away and never come back. All right, go ahead. See if I care. Pull your wait. If anything happens to that boy, Hacker, I swear I'll take it out of your hide. Oh, 
Julio! 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 Closer, boss man, or I'll... You what? I'll slash you to ribbons. <sighs> Somebody bandage him up. The drink is long as I live. Good girl. I wonder how long it'll be before the lights come on again. <laughs> the last time something happened to our generator, it was two days before they fixed it. You mean they didn't have any power on this whole island for two days? <laughs> yes, except for some of the houses on the hills. They had their own generator. The storm's about over. Run up some of the boys, we'll go have a look. Right.
Thunder, that's for sure. It sounded like dynamite. Come on. The truck! Roger! Let's go! Hey, hurry up! That'd be too close to our prize package. Dinosaurs, no shack. Worst of all, no O'Leary. Hey, box! O'Leary's hat. Think he's dead? Nobody could live through that kind of explosion, Dumpy. Oh, hey, poor guy. Well, what happened to the dinosaurs? Bart! Come here! He looked like the big one just up and walked away. Walked away? How could he walk away if he's dead? It isn't possible. What are we going to do? Uh-oh. Look. What are you doing, Hacker? I was looking to see, to see if Julio was around here. Under the leaves? Come on, you can do better than that. A fat lot you care what happens to that boy. Will you get your hands off me? I better change up arm. Okay, I was wrong this time. You had nothing to do with this. You don't know what that sound was, do you? A bird. That's a dinosaur, Hacker. A big, hungry, flesh-eating dinosaur. I mean, we got to get back to town and start making phone calls for help. The phones are out, Bart. The overseas phone. Everything's out. How do we get word out, hacker? Mailboat will be in tomorrow morning. By tomorrow, we could all be dead. Doesn't anyone here have a shortwave radio? Some of the fishing boats have some, but they won't be back till the end of the week. When can we get an answer to that wire? I, uh, I didn't get around to sending it. Well, that's just great. Bart. I wish my dad wasn't away. He's got some sort of radio rig. A shortwave radio? Yes, he's a ham operator. But he's always taking it apart. I don't know if it's working. Well, at least there's something to go on. I think I could get it to work. Meantime, we got to figure out some way of defending ourselves. Hacker, how many weapons are there in the island? Well, some small game guns, a couple of pistols, but what good would they be against those monsters? And there's a relic cannon up at the old fortress. That might not be a bad idea, Bart. It's a relic cannon? No, 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 the fortress. I was up there last Sunday. It's just some old ruins, but the walls are thick and fairly high. And there's what's left of a moat around the place. We could widen it and burn some oil as a barrier. Sounds like our best idea. Chuck, take the bulldozers and whatever else you need and get set up at the fortress. Right. And tell everybody on the way up there. Hey, boss, maybe if I rang the fire gun, we could get them all out in a hurry, huh? No. No, all we need is a couple hundred fighting people running through town. That monster will know where his next meal is coming from. How about us with the heavy equipment? I don't think he'll bother you if you travel on a tight convoy. Drive the lights out. Roger. Let's go, guys. Come on. I work to do. You girls go on with Chuck. Thump you now. Spread the word in town. We'll get to your house and see if that radio's working. Bart, my mother's home all alone. Don't worry. We'll bring her back. How about you, Hacker? Are we going to get any help from you? I've got to go find my boy. I, I feel terrible. He means so much to me. I will risk the danger. I'll take my men and we'll go search the island. I understand. We'll keep a lookout, too. You see, Bart, nobody's all bad. Senor Bart, when I was a little girl in another country, there was a revolution. My father taught me how to make bombs out of bottles and gasoline. We used some, no? Well, we'll use some, yes. Run and tell Chuck that. Okay. Hey, boss. There's a couple of walkie-talkies up in the tool shed. Should I get them? We'll keep in touch with Chuck. That's a good idea, Dumpy. Okay. Bart, I'm going with you. 
No, you're not. It's a lot safer for you at the fortress. We may never get there. If something happens, I want to be with you. How's the boy dressed, Mr. Hacker? I uh, didn't notice. Don't be so style conscious, Jasper. We're looking for the caveman, not that brat. <laughs> I, I, I knew you hadn't changed. vegetarian like it says on the cereal box. Hey, you are friendly. We are going to be friends, you and me. That's the bad Tronosaurus. You'd better run and find his one to hide in, or he won't follow you. Because if he catches us, he'll eat both of us up. And he'll like you better than me, because you're bigger. And I don't want him to eat you, so please run. I know you don't know which way to run, and I wish I could tell you, but you see, I'm just a boy and I'm lost, because I don't go out at night by myself and I don't know where the swamps are. You see? You've got to go! Please run! I can't push you! Tell everyone to go quickly and quietly. Once they get to the fortress, they should just relax. Dumpy, let's go! Hey, boss, it's a dud, ain't it? No, you have to light that clock tail, Dumpy. But a spark could do it. Put them in here. Yeah, boss. Put them on something soft so they don't get jostled. And no smoking. <laughs> you ain't kidding.
XLN2W, calling LNR6J. XLN2W, calling LNR6J. Do you read me? Over. XLN2W, calling LNR6J. XLN2W, calling LNR6J. Come in, please. Don't help any. We are almost there, Jock. Nope. The whole uh, back part is filled with water, Mr. Hacker. Uh, that's why they closed this place. They haven't used it in years. Let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Jasper seems to be enjoying it. Huh, Jasper? Uh, sure, boss. It's very uh, interesting. I mean, where else are you going to find a caveman except in a cave? In a cave. In a cave. Uh, Jasper, 
Your intelligence never ceases to amaze me. I didn't know you were an anthropologist. Uh, not a very good one, boss. I mean, I ain't been to church in years. <laughs> oh, well, he's not in the cave. Maybe he's in a house. Come on, we start looking in houses. Is there anyone else living out this way we could warn? No, ours is the next place, and it's the last one. Well, I make us something warm to drink. I don't think Betty would mind. You really don't know much about these things, do you? I'll be your friend. I'll show you.
No. Eat with your fork. Like this. out of the way and get him with as few bruises as possible. Run, Jim! Run! Damn Batman! No! No, Jim! It's not right to kill! You two are worthless. Stand back. Let a man at him. Now, you got the rope? Uh, yeah, boss. Uh, right here. All right. I'll pin him down. You bind his hands and feet. and get him or I pity both of you. Show up. Come on. They can't be far ahead. Well, come on. Come on. If we have to run all night, we're going to catch them. Come on. Come oh. on. Here, that's for sure. Boy, this place is a mess. Mother! Yeah, in order to bust this up, sure did a thorough job. Well, they sure did. Mother! Better calm her down. You think? I don't know. She's not here, Bart. Something's happened. I know it. Come on, calm down. Keep your chin up. Look, her car's gone. She could be in town. Or she might be at the fortress already with Chuck. Oh, do you think she might be? Well, there's a good chance. And besides, going to pieces isn't going to help a bit. Oh, somebody had a sloppy feast in here, Bart. And the tea kettle's still boiling. Whoever was here didn't leave long ago. Dumpy, go out to the jeep and see if you can contact Chuck on the walkie-talkie. He should be at the fortress by now. Gotcha, boss. What do we do now? We'll head for the fortress. And see if you've got any kerosene lanterns. We could use them. Okay, I'll get them. Hey, boss! Yeah? Yeah, Chuck, sure. Just a minute. Here he comes now. Bet his mother is safe. Oh, good. Tell Betty and give her a hand as easy, will you, dummy? I sure will. Yeah, Chuck. Yeah, Bart. So far, so good. Not a sign of the monsters. And we're making pretty good progress with the moat. If we could be sure of a couple of more hours, I'd say we'd have it secured. Well, how about the Islanders? We got most of them in from the village. They're more coming from the hills all the time. They're frightened. And I can't say that I blame them. When I stop to think of it, I get pretty scared myself. I know what you mean. How about Julio? Not a sign of him. <sighs> well, we'll keep our eyes peeled for him on the way back. From the jungle, if I thought there was a chance of finding him alive. Don't be a fool, Bart. You'll have a hard enough time just getting back here. I know. She said she saw an ape man. That's what she said, Betty, but she probably was so frightened she really didn't know what she saw. Well, at least she's all right. You want to take these out and put them in the Jeep? And I'll get a first aid kit in case we need it. Oh, and don't be too long, because the sooner we get back to those fortress walls, the better I'll feel. <laughs> okay. Hey, boss? Boss? Boss, where are you? Over here, Dumpy. Look what I found, Hacker's car. 
Uh-oh. I wonder what he's got to do with that mess inside. And the broken radio? Check under the seats. I don't know what to look for, but I wouldn't put anything past that man. We gotta get that boy. Sorry. Hurry, Bart, hurry! Julio, we're coming! We may need those. Come on. but there's no telling what he might do next. Come on. Any idea where we are? Well, the house is back that way. Yeah. We just got to keep going through here. Whoa, please stop. We'll be right back where we started, and the Tyrannosaurus will lead us up. You saved my life. I really don't know how to thank you. I'm very grateful. You want me to cook it? Your dinner. I think you ought to know something before I start. I'm not a very good cook. You know, you don't care, huh? Okay. One rabbit, medium rare. Hope that's how you like it. I hope you don't have anything else on your mind. Uh, 
Rest watch. Now, now, nice caveman. You just sit there and I'll go fix things in the kitchen. Now, let's see. What does a nice caveman do after a hard day's work in the jungle? No, oh, no, don't tell me. Let me think of something tame on my own. Like sitting down. And we'll keep all other thoughts out of our romantic little Neanderthal minds. Okay? Let's see. Maybe if I sing you a song, you'll fall asleep. And then I can run away from you, hmm? Lullaby and good night. Go to sleep, little caveman. seats. Side. The way they're spinning around, he could get crushed. Come on, we gotta get him. Not that way, that's quicksand. Get to Betty, too. There he is, man. Yeah, yeah but look at that monster. We're going in to get that cave, man. It's too late for that now, Jasper. I'm sorry, boss. I quit. Jasper, come back here! We gotta get him away from that 
cave. Now. Come on, Mr. Hacker. Have a heart. I'm telling you, Marcy, it'll be perfectly safe. Get in through that opening. Climb down on the rope up there. Take him prisoner and bring him out when the coast is clear. I'm scared of the monster and a bomb too, Mr. Hacker. One. I'm tired of being disobeyed, Mousy. I'm ashamed of myself. I, I really am. Two. I'm in business this time. You, you know I do anything for you. You know that, Mr. Hacker. But this... This will be suicide. Three. Okay, okay. I'll go. Yellow coward, I'll kill you! Uh, I'll do it myself. That mine shaft's nothing but a bunch of rotted timbers. It can't hold much longer the way he's going at it. These things don't bother him a bit. Maybe if I could pop one right in his mouth, he'd decide to beat it out of there. Oh, boss, that's a good trick if you can do it. When I tell you, you throw one of those bombs as close to his eyes as you can. That'll attract his attention. But let me get within a couple of feet where I can't miss. Okay. Oh, Mr. Hacker, thank goodness you're here. Don't anybody move. Blasted rope. Now we'll have to wait for the monster to leave before we can get out. Unless we give him some distraction while the others leave. You must be crazy. Is that what you think? Do you know how much money people all over the world will pay to look at that monkey man? Oh, what is this? <laughs> Bravery, eh? Little man, I could puncture holes in you with this play toy of mine. He doesn't know what a gun is. He's just a nice kind. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I won't tell Tim. He's going to be my fortune. And you, you are going to be my way out of here. No, Hacker, no! He mad. Let's get in there. is going to remember he's hungry again. Did Hacker get out? Caveman! Where is the caveman? Come on! Look! Look, he's heading for the quicksand! Now's our chance. Head back to the Jeep. I'm going to take another look around here, just in case. Be careful. I will. Now hurry.
we got a ditch all around the fortress except on the side overlooking the ocean. We just open up those drums, put a torch to the oil, and we got a motor plane. Good. Is everyone in the fortress? Yeah. Everybody except for the guys and the equipment. And there's a little path over there. They can go up in case they get caught outside when the fire starts. Got a good job, Chuck. Got enough oil? That's the problem. The moat had to be bigger than I anticipated. How many minutes of flame can you give me? Five, maybe, if we're lucky. No sign of the boat yet? No. Pedro! I'm not hungry. You should eat something, Julio. A growing boy. I don't want to grow anymore. The mail boat will soon be here. You're probably going to get that airplane from the cereal box. I don't care about any airplane. Well, remember there's a good bowl of soup if you want it. What have you seen out there, Dumpy? Nothing, and right now that looks mighty good to me. Are you taking care of the alarm? <laughs> hey! Huh? What's that? Take it easy. Relax. The monster's not here yet. But you keep your eyes open, you'll be a fine alarm man. Si, senor. Sorry. Sorry, senor. I hope the rest of our setup is better than that. <laughs> Don't worry about him. If that monster comes to the mile of this place, that bell will be ringing. Hey, Chuck. 
drive the bulldozer to the player? Not a chance, Dumpy. Why? To help Bart. Look what he's doing. Men have to die. Well, we owe them. There's a time for everything. The caveman slept all those years. And then one day he awoke like Rip Van Winkle and found the world so changed that he didn't belong in it anymore. How would you like it if you woke in the 21st century? No house, no friends, even the town died. Just a strange world. I would like it. <laughs> you know, I bet you would at that. I bet one day you will wake in the 21st century. You really mean it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy! <laughs> there you are, my dear. There's your tropical island. Look at all those people up there waving at us. Do you suppose they greet all the ships like this? I shouldn't be at all surprised in a peaceful, quiet island like this. I don't suppose they'd anything better to do. <laughs> <laughs> 